Okay. Um... Well, John, I'm, John, I'm curious why, if you feel that, you know, the Holy Spirit works in such a way which it lit up your Bible, why you wouldn't go on the Aphis experience and give that story? Hmm. That's a good story. No, so, it, me... it is not my, it's not my experience that, that's uh, uh, rewarding uh, when I've brought it's, it up in the past. It's the whole point of the show to, to give you experience and especially this experience that like, convinced you. Okay, um, so let me do a room reset for all the people, because the YouTuber is going to be flocking in pretty soon. Now, here, here's where we're at. A couple of weeks ago, uh, John Lee called in to the Atheist Experience, right? And he talked to Matt Dillahunty, right? Now, um... The call was very short, and by the way, first of all, this all this whole thing happened because John Lee stated that he's always wanted to call into the atheist experience, and I immediately, immediately knew that John Lee was full of shit. I immediately knew that John Lee was peacocking and chest puffing, right? I wasn't fucking buying it. Right. So I did my best to facilitate John Lee realizing his dream for over a decade that he's wanted so badly. Right. He's always wanted to do it somehow in over a decade. Never found the right opportunity. Right. Never found the time slot. Never, never found the right, the right time and place to call. Right. Obviously fucking bullshit. Right. So what I did is I called him on his bullshit. Right. And I said, Oh, you know what? I'm going to make it even easier for you. We know J. Mike, who's on the Atheist Experience in two hours, right? We, so we, we got him to pull some strings to say, look, this guy John Lee is going to call in, right? This guy John Lee is going to call and go talk to him, right? So, so he did. And, and we talked about what he was going to call in about. And John Lee, because he's a fucking coward wanted to talk about how atheists don't exist and some bullshit that nobody fucking cares about. We tried to explain to John Lee that the entire format of the fucking show is you're a theist, you call in, and then you give your justification for why you're a theist. That's kind of the fucking idea of the show, right? But he's too cowardly to do that, right? He's too much of a fucking coward to do that, right? I see you all piling in here, right? This is great on YouTube. I want you all to be witness to John Lee's live cowardice today. And I'm going to lay it all out for you, right? So he gets on there and I told John Lee, John Lee states, by the way, he says, my goal, my goal for calling the atheist experience is to not, to not get hung up on. That's my goal. And I said, well, John Lee, you know, you're an idiot because, first of all, you have a problem where you don't answer questions. And that's that makes people like Matt Dillahunty hang up on people, right? You have picked a topic, I think, purposely because you're a coward that is not conducive to staying on the line with Matt Dillahunty, right? So we explained all these things to him, right? And John Lee, because he's a coward, because he couldn't actually go on there and justify his beliefs, right, that he, that he knows is true... He went on there and pursued some stupid line of fucking, you know, atheists don't exist or something. He got hung up and he got hung up on in three minutes and fifteen seconds, right? Three minutes fifteen seconds, right? So now fast forward to today. Fast forward to today. Last week, um, J. Mike said, "Hey, well, I'm gonna be on the show with Matt to, on on today, right?" He told us this last week. He said, "You can call in." And I'll talk to you, and I'll make sure that you um, are get on, and we'll talk, right? So now we're talking to John Lee, and John Lee has another opportunity, guys, to realize his dream for over a decade of, of getting on the atheist experience, right? And he says, uh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I said, John, what's there to fucking think about, bro? Right? 
oh, the logistics and, uh, you know, I'm, th- I'm, you know, I'm thinking about it. It's like, dude, we're t- we've talked to Jay Mike. We can get you on. He would be expecting you. You can talk, right? And John Lee wants to give Matt an ultimatum. <laughs> get this. He wants to give Matt Dillahunty an, an ultimatum that he'll only talk to him about atheists not existing. Do you know why? Because John Lee is hoping that Matt says fuck off so he doesn't call into the atheist. He wants an excuse. He wants an excuse. So, just to wrap it up, John Lee is once again posturing, peacocking, like he's going to call into the atheist experience, right? But we all know that he's full of shit, right? And all you know that he's full of shit, and you're going to be witness now to John Lee being, being full of shit, right? So what do you have to say to that, John? Tell us all about how you really want to call in. Tell us, John. Well, I was thinking that I could call him up, tell him, you know, I want to continue the conversation I was unable to have before and uh, see where that goes. Yeah, and let me get this straight, John. You only want to talk about that, right? You want to, In fact, you want to give some ultimatum that if, if Matt or J. Mike don't want to talk to you about that, you don't want to call in, right? No, I didn't say that. I'm just going to... Oh, well... Oh, so it's an ultimatum that's not an ultimatum, John? So it's an ultimatum where you're going to say, hey, we talk about this or else I'll still talk to you? That's your ultimatum? Is that... It'll probably be, this is what I want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. But that's the only thing you'll talk about, correct? Uh, This week, yes. Yeah, so it's an ultimatum. Dumb shit, right? And uh, they could either accept or decline. Right, exactly. Because you're a fucking coward, right? So, might I remind everybody else that John Lee was became a Christian, right? John Lee went to his bookshelf and picked off the Bible from the bookshelf and sat down and read it. And he didn't just read it, right? The Bible itself started to glow, and the letters lifted off the pages of the Bible, okay? And in this experience, right, after reading the book of John, he became a Christian. He was convinced by this experience. So John admits that he had a spiritual experience where, um, with God. And instead of calling up a show where you call up and tell Matt Dillahunty or whoever's on why you believe what you believe, John wants to go on and he wants to talk about how there are no atheists and some sort of lack of beliefs like, you know, word game bullshit. That's what he wants to do, right? So tell me, why would it be the case that someone would want to do that, right? And to me, it's just painfully obvious that John Lee is fucking embarrassed of his own spiritual experience. Yeah, well, you're I mean, not. Your interest is, your interest you're not is fooling not anyone, John. John, you're not fooling anyone, John. I mean, the the week that I did call, you guys were all saying, "Oh, you need to give which argument for God are you going to give?" and and then uh, this week, it's like uh, you guys are putting the uh, some topic of conversation. I'm simply not interested. Oh, you're simply not. You're not interested anymore, John, because. Just moments ago, what do you, what when do you mean anymore? just just you moments mean anymore? ago, just moments ago before we went live, you were saying, "Oh, I'm getting more and more interested," and like, "Yep, I'm thinking about it." So it was sounding more and more good. Now all of a sudden, yeah, you're not interested when YouTube my... can hear your bullshit. Now, once YouTube, no, my, the, once there's a hundred people listening scenario. to you fucking bullshit, you're fucking not interested anymore. You were never fucking interested, John, and I fucking told you that, right? No, I'm interested in my topic, not yours. Yo, f- well, go ahead, John. Call in. Go ahead and call in, John. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. 
Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, you're thinking about it. Yeah, what that just means you're not going to, right? That just means that you want to just like say. not that's just what you want to do to not commit and leave the door open for like you to not call in. You're actively wanting to not call in. And no, that's fine if you want to do that, but dude, dude, don't bullshit me. Don't bullshit me in uh, Peacock and act I like mean, you're like, oh, I can't. I'm putting my hands together. I can't wait to talk to Matt Dilla, I've been, I've been waiting 10 years for this. Nobody's fucking buying it. Right? We all know, you know that you're full of fucking shit. You know, Tom, the more you talk like this, the more I'm likely not to do it just so that you convince yourself of, of the case. Yeah, and I would look. Guess what? Oh, oh, and I'd be right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, oh no. I, I would be right. John, That's right. I I know you better than you know you. Okay? So you claim. Oh, so it's a claim where I just made a prediction and it would come true? That's just a claim? Yeah, I, I, can, I can make a claim too. Oh, you'll probably make a Dark Dawkins video pretty soon. Ho, ho, ho. I it, it wouldn't be just I a know, claim if it I came know, true. Um, it would be a prediction, and then it would come true, right? You're saying you're thinking about it. That's that. That means it could go either way, right? And I'm saying I oh, know which way it's gonna go. You're gonna be oh, a fucking look, coward. I, I, oh look, I know Tom. Like the back of my hand, he's gonna make another Darth Dawkins video again. Oh, I see. I predicted it. Yeah, but I am. I'm saying I'm going to do that, right? You're saying that I could go either way. It's not an interesting prediction if, like, even I'm saying, like, yeah, I'm going to do it again. You're the one saying that, oh, it could go either way, right? <laughs> You're the one saying that, John. And I'm saying I know you better than you know you, and you're full of shit. You, you claim to, become a, you, to have become a Christian... And you have a glowing, a fucking glowing Bible story. And you brag about how you're not afraid to say, you know, this about babies and this about murder. And like it's and, and praise God, God would kill babies and praise God. And I'm proud to say it. But you have a fucking spiritual experience story and you are fucking embarrassed to sit to talk about it. Period. And I'm glad, I'm glad that this is live, and I'm glad that there is close to a hundred people watching this right now to see that you are in fact exactly what I'm claiming, and you are a fucking coward right now in front of fucking everyone. Hey, Tom, didn't you upload a couple of videos like that already anyway? Hey, what? It's old news. Speak with right, your chest, well, John. What? what did you just fucking didn't say? You... Didn't you upload a couple of uh, videos uh, about Bibles and angels and follow-up to angels? And... Yeah, that's another. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, John, because you have another spiritual experience where you were in church and you turned around and lo and behold, there were two angels there in church. But instead of talking about your experience with two angels, you want to call up the atheist experience and tell Matt that you lack a belief that atheists exist. Are you fucking kidding right. me? Yeah. You know why? Because you're fucking embarrassed of your own stories. Fucking pathetic. I just pathetic. like talking about atheism. Fucking pathetic, I just like dude. About Andreas I just Carlson in the chat. Tom, like, look, uh, why is Tom so angry? This is passion, bro. This is passion, and I embrace it. Tom is triggered. That's why. He's been triggered. I even wrote that in the chat. He's been triggered all morning. Well, you're trying to pretend like you're not being a fucking coward, bro, and you are. And does that trigger you? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it does trigger me. Do Have you ever been triggered by things that are not true? Have I ever been triggered by things that are not true? What do you mean? Yeah, things, like, you, just, things you just felt was true, but it was just really your imagination and you just got angry for no reason. Yes, probably. Yeah, why? John, are you saying that you're not a coward? No, well, I will neither confirm nor deny that. Yeah, you're and... full of shit, right? 
You're full of shit. I'll just leave it up to you to decide outside. It was outside, right? Oh, the biddy. John and I have known each other for a long time. We, uh, we this is just the way we talk. It's not. It's not nearly uh, like super malicious or something. John, we're buds, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, but I'm look. Fact is, John, I'm calling you out, right? I'm calling you out, and I want. I don't. I'm. It's. It's not going to be the case that you're just going to like talk this much shit, and then uh. You know, like, I'm not going to just, like, turn on the live and, like, so everybody can see your bullshit. Because I want everyone to see it. And I want to be accountable. I'll, I'll make a prediction that you're too fucking cowardly to call the atheist experience. And I want it, I want all the prestige when the prediction comes true. Can he call in and, uh... If you call in John Leak, when you mentioned that my five hundred dollar challenge, I'll pay him five hundred dollars to have a moderated discussion with me. Don't well, tell the call screener that though. Well, he could do that if he were going to actually call, Godless. But will you, John? John, John Lee's a coward. Yeah. Uh, I'll mention it uh, if I get the opportunity. Gigi from Florida, like something like that. Yeah, and you can tell he already. People have already told him I'm really an atheist. So you can tell him the truth. That I just think that he's, uh, like his fans are like the lowest of the lowest fruit of the atheist community on the internet, and that wow. I think he's. You actually want me to say that too? If you want to, yeah, uh, and that I think I can show, expose him that he's wrong about the deist versus external world thing. That a deist is equally justified uh, by believing, I mean, I don't know if you can remember it all, but a deist is equally justified because of an intuition, just like he, uh, he just believes that he's not in the matrix because of an intuition. You, you really want me to go that route? No, you. I mean, you don't have to say all that, whatever you're comfortable with. Well, I mean, what I am comfortable with probably was something like, uh, you know, uh, you and R and Ra have fallen out of favor ever since uh, he said rocks are atheists and and. Steve All you want to do is talk that. about semantics. You're just so <laughs> fucking pathetic, dude. You're just so and fucking then, pathetic. And then you, and and then you backed him up by saying rocks are implicit atheists, and he doubled down. On, he tripled. All down you want to do is talk about the definition of atheism and bullshit, right? You're supposed to be this fucking like. <sighs> You're on here every day, and you're talking about how God is real, and you know God is real. And then when you go on the atheist experience, you don't want to talk about anything like that. You want to talk about semantics. It's fucking pathetic. Oh, I could, oh, I could talk about how they know how J. Mike and Matt know God is real. You want me to talk about that? Fine. I mean, you're just like peacocking again, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, go and do that. Yeah. By the way, someone made a, made a comment in the chat said, uh, that I strongly agree with. The difference in John's voice before going live on YouTube and now after is stunning. Going live on YouTube has badly affected him. Yeah, I, could, I noticed that too. Because you were riding high in the saddle, but as soon as you said, Are you streaming this? Yeah, you just like became Mr. Meek and Mild, right? Wow. You lost your big boy wow. voice, didn't you, John? Uh-oh. Shit is bad. Uh, <laughs> My confidence has been shattered by uh, uh, some some dude from uh, an edu uneducated dude from uh, Miz the hills of Missouri, right? A redneck, he calls himself. Unbelievable. What? what is he talking about? Are you reading the live chat obsessively? No, I'm not there yet. I mean, I could be. Do you want me to be? No, I just thought. I don't know. I thought you were responding to. I don't know. I don't. Maybe you knew the guy, right? No, actually, I'm just, I, I have these quotes of Dillahunty over the years. And, yeah, okay, uh, okay, dude, buddy, yeah. His, yeah, you've been watching for on. for decades, right? And you've been, oh, you've well, been actually, wanting to call no. in so bad, haven't you, John? You just never quite found the right time. What a fucking joke. I actually have never, I've never watched a full episode of uh, Atheist Experience ever. In fact, the small clips I watch are, you know, five, ten minutes here and there that someone wants me to watch. Okay, you you guys talk amongst yourselves really quick. I'm gonna grab the clip 
of uh, John Lee and Matt Dillon. And everybody in the live stream, I'm going to play for you. Two weeks ago, when John Lee called Matt Dillahunty, and right, I'm going to play it for you so you can witness the fucking cowardice, the absolute cowardice. Yeah, him and Jumbo were so scared. You need, you need actually visuals for their bug eye when I told them I didn't believe them. Uh, yeah, all you did was try to troll because you can't actually engage with the, with the defense of your faith. You can't do it. And you're embarrassed to reveal why you believe what you do. Yeah, it's pathetic. I was actually going to tell them why I believe there's no... Oh, yeah, I'm I sure you just... Them. You really wanted to do it. <laughs> you, you, right. you really wanted to, didn't you, John? And they didn't want to go there. I literally, that's how it began. I told them I believed because I believed the claims of the Bible. And then the, usually a normal person would say, why do you believe the Bible? He didn't want to go there. Because he was afraid, Tom. Because he was afraid. So, John, um, it sounds like you just need another chance to really, you know, drive that dagger home, right? Because you already kind of clipped him. That's what I'm thinking. Well, that, that's I think I'm mulling that's over. What, that's what you're thinking about? Yeah. That, that's oh, he's mulling thing. it over, guys. Yeah. He's yeah. mulling it over. He's mulling it over, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to see if it'll work to, to make those terms. That this is what I want to talk about. Yeah, he only Are wants you... to talk about semantics and like fucking drama and like what you said to Aaron Ra or some tweet that he said where it's like hypocritical. That's all you want to do, right? Why don't you grow no, no, a no, pair? No, no, Why don't you grow a pair of fucking nuts and minute. call into the atheist experience and defend your fucking I, faith? How about that? I, I, I would likely not bring that up, Tom. You wouldn't bring God up? No, no, no. I wouldn't bring up. Uh, you know, the <laughs> statement that rocks are implicit atheists. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I, I think you could uh, just finish what you started. Right? Jay Mike won't hang up on you. All the stuff you were going to say that you weren't allowed to say, I think you'll be allowed to say today. Mm -hmm. that's, what I'm, that's what I'm wondering. If, oh, I, if, oh, sure if it'll it. happen or not. Yeah. Okay, I'm rendering this video, so hang on, bear with me. For those of you wondering, it's not a very long video, so don't worry that you'll be like sitting through, you know, a lengthy thing. It's actually oh, pretty short. Oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty short. It's pretty fucking short. Yeah, pretty short. It's short and sweet. I'm very, I'm very uh, satisfied, unlike... Other exactly how you wanted. That's what she said. Yeah, exactly how you wanted it, right, John? Exactly how you John wanted it. John Lee is familiar that. with things short and sweet. Mm. Uh, Yuri is asking to be added to the stage. You're going to have to uh, keep it clean, Yuri, um, or you're gone. Thank you. We actually took bets on how long uh, John would last. The longest was about 10 minutes. It was all sort of like 10 minutes or under. There was a lot in the six minute, five minute range. Um, I think I won at four minutes or under because it was like three minutes and change. Yeah, you made up a rule without afterwards so that you could win. Um, well, that's not how I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Tom did, <laughs> did you know the topic before you took the best, Sadie? I don't. I don't think it would have made a lot of difference, honestly. But no, I don't. I, wow. I, don't recall. I actually don't recall. To be fair. Okay, uh, YouTube. Tell me if. Tell me if you can hear Our this. First caller, can you can you um, hear this? YouTube is calling in to say that atheists and ex Christians don't exist. Uh, is my understanding. But we have <sighs> John in California. Am Am I correct? Is this Is this correct that you, you can hear atheists okay. don't exist? And our okay, let me start it over then. I'm playing it for YouTube now, right? Now, we this is the call. Remember, uh, shit. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter about us anyway. Just yeah, yeah. play for YouTube. It's fine. It's only three minutes long, so I'm gonna play it for everyone. Uh, fuck, can I make it so you can hear it? Let me try it. Let me try to.
I don't know. I, I, it's only three minutes. I got. I gotta just. Let me just play. It. Okay, so this is two weeks ago, right? We gave uh, John Lee an inside pathway to get on. He was the very first caller that got on. We advised him not to talk about what he talked about, and he said, he, "Keep in mind when you when I'm playing this, his goal, his stated goal, is I want to stay on for as long as possible, and I don't want to get hung up on." That's and our his first goal. Caller, um, so, so watch what happens. He's calling in to say that atheists and ex-Christians don't exist, uh, is my understanding. But we have <sighs> John in California. Am, am I correct? Is this is this correct that you say yeah, atheists don't, don't exist? Good luck with that. Shut yeah, up, John Lee. Well, Shut up, John. Well, I certainly believe the Bible's oh, true, and I believe that the here. Bible's saying that atheists do not exist. Okay, so y y you believe the Bible's true. The Bible says atheists don't exist. But in chat, you said that you know atheists like the back of your hand. So please explain how you can know something that doesn't exist like the back of your hand. Uh, very good question. Uh, when I say atheist, uh, just like a Christian, uh, you know, I consider it as uh, someone who claims to lack a belief in God and chooses to identify as an atheist. So anyone who uh, claims to disbelieve or lack belief in God and chooses to identify as an atheist, I will recognize as an atheist. Yeah, so... I claim that I do not believe that a God exists, uh, and yet you, that makes me right. an atheist, and you say that I don't exist. Mm -hmm. Or is what you're saying that I'm lying and I actually do believe in a God? Well, I, I would claim that uh, maybe that you've been deceived. Uh, maybe that uh, it could be that, uh, you know, one is delusional, um, things like that. But not necessarily that they're lying, you know, uh, because the way I understand it, that... that uh, People have suppressed the truth and unrighteousness. I'm sure you've heard that before. And well, uh, I, I've heard, I've heard a bunch of things. I know, before. I know. I can't, it's not that I can do it, but I'm, I'm happy, just have to wait I'm for one minute and a half. Let you make your one, case. One and, and so we've got this clock, which I'm going to start here briefly, which is going to give you a full minute to make your case. But I want to make sure that we're clear. You're not saying that we don't exist. You're saying that we're not really atheists, that we either somehow or another, we actually act or we do believe in God and and are you saying that maybe we're not aware that we believe in God? I'm not starting your clock I just yet. Have I, I just have the propositional attitude. Yes, I have the propositional attitude that atheists do not exist. Uh, that's how I would characterize it. It's really frustrating because I'm trying to ask you questions that clarify what your position is so that mm -hmm. I can start you to defend it. And yet you keep not answering the mm -hmm. question. So the question is, are you saying You're, that those mm -hmm. of us... Here, here, here I am. Let's just go with me and Jim. We say we're atheists. We say we don't believe in God. You're telling us, mm -hmm. are, is, it, is it your case? I don't believe you. Okay, I don't care if you believe me. Is it the, is it the case That's that you fine. think that, is it your case that you think we're lying or deceived and we secretly do believe in God? And how can you prove that? Start your minute. Well, if somebody claims God, if somebody claims God exists, and I and they and a, a, a skeptic says I don't believe you. Uh, they're not necessarily claiming that God does not exist. Uh, they're not necessarily claiming that you're lying. It's just that they don't believe the proposition or assertion that's presented to them. Now, if you and Jim are going to claim that uh, you two disbelieve or lack belief in God, I would just simply say that I reject your claim. I di I disbelieve your okay. claim. You in know, that case, I, I reject your call. Thanks for wasting our time. It doesn't matter to me whether you believe us or not. Appreciate it. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well, nothing. Yeah, your your belief I, in the client has nothing to do. Okay, sorry. So it was only three minutes, but yeah, I, I I can't set it up right now with with the way I have things set up. But yeah, it's fine. I misunderstood. I'm sorry. Three minutes, fifteen seconds is uh, how long John lasted, and that was keep in mind, everyone. Keep in mind, this was John Lee with the goal of staying on, on the call as long as possible. He did not want to get hung up on, right? Fucking pathetic. Three minutes, John. Congratulations, John. You made it three minutes. Yeah, it's not really long enough. Yeah, but even that was longer than he wanted. Yeah. Right. And, and Daz, Daz had it perfectly right, right? Clubhouse Debates had it perfectly right when he said, John Lee wants to call up with a topic 
in which he has no burden of proof. That's his shtick. Exactly fucking right. Exactly fucking right. And if he, well, might be, he does want to call up and like provide like a uh, proof that like atheists don't exist, but that's like not even, I wouldn't even call that a fucking topic, right? It's just some bullshit that he's coming up with. He wants to talk about semantics or fucking definition of atheism or something like that. He's got two stories where he's got spiritual experiences of a glowing Bible and singing angels, Right. And he does not want to talk about those. Actually, actually, actually think about this, right? There's this show about the atheist experience. It's about what do you believe and why do you believe it and justifying your beliefs, right? And then John Lee is this type of guy who says, oh, I'm not embarrassed of any of my beliefs. Oh, I'm not embarrassed of this. I, I say this proudly. Amen. 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 And then when it comes to telling Matt Dillahunty's story about his glowing Bible and the singing angels, he is nowhere to be fucking found. He's nowhere to be fucking found. This guy is embarrassed of his own conversion story. I've seen this guy talking to other Christians and saying, give me your testimonial. And he tells the glowing Bible story by saying, I read, I, I sat down and read the book of John. He leaves it out with other Christians. How can you describe it other by saying he's fucking mortified of his own stories? He's mortified of his own spiritual experiences. Where could you put it? So that's, that is why I decided, decided to go live because I can only take so much of this peacocking bullshit where I want to fucking blast someone. Let's just fuck, I'll just go live. I want everyone to see this, right? I want everybody to fucking see this. You're full of shit, John. <clears throat> see, John has entered the YouTube live chat. It's great, John. Anybody else? Questions, comments? Hello? Anybody here? I, mean, yeah, I, I, just, yeah. I just think John's a little weak, is all. I just I think it sounds weak. A uh, little weak? A little weak? Just yeah. a, a little weak, yeah. I don't think it needs a... I don't think it needs a... I think it's just weak. Straight up. No mixer. Hashtag weak. No, YouTube chat, please. Hashtag weak. Are you uh, going to call, John? He's not going to call. Guys. I don't know yet. That means no, right? We got this girl. You know that means no, right? That that means that his current position is no. That possibly could change. I mean, like if someone offered a million dollars, you'd probably call him. But you know that that means, like, as it stands right now, his position is no. You know that's what that means, right, Godless? Uh, probably. Thank you. Uh, the bat who laughs. Hashtag weak. <laughs> thank you. Fuck, thank you. Did exactly he say right. why he's hesitant? Um, uh, well, well. He said logistics, feasibility, and one other thing. Like, I don't know what the logistics of like sitting in a Prius and, and making a <laughs> phone call is. I mean, that seems to like, I mean, I don't know, John. I think it, for me personally, the logistics of making that happen is like pretty easy to like, I, I, I would think that you'd be able to kind of carry that out, make that happen in an hour and a half, right? I think you've got the logistics down. You've got somewhere to sit. You've got a communication device. And you seem to have pretty good network coverage. So I think the logistics are all set. Yeah, John. 
I mean, here we are again. You're saying like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to call in because this reason and this reason. And then like when we start going through the reasons, like they're all like completely able to be overcome quite easily. And then like we're just back to. I don't think yeah. Bill Hunty is going to go for it. Oh, you mean you hope. Right, so so what he's trying to do, YouTube, right, to the hundred people that are experiencing your cowardice, John Lee, what John Lee is trying to do is set up circumstances in which Dillahunty will reject the call so he can have an excuse to not call, right? He's trying to sabotage his own call into the show because he doesn't want to call into the show in the first place. Fucking weak, John. Hashtag fucking weak. Well, one way to find out if they say yes or no. <laughs> oh, so you're going to say, oh, I'm going to call you on your bullshit again. Are you going to call up, talk to Paul, the call screener, say what you want, and then like get on the show, and then you're going to be on the show if they say yes, John? Or is that another maybe? Is that another maybe? Because you just set up the conditions like, oh, if this condition is met, then I'm going to be on the show. And then like now I'm asking you, okay, just to be clear, if that condition's met, are we going to be, are you going to be calling in, John? Or is that another maybe? Maybe I'll see if I try. It yeah, again. that's what I thought, you fucking coward. That's what I fucking thought, right? I know you better than you know you. Even before you even, like, finish with, like, t whatever bullshit you were just trying to, to peddle, as if somebody would fucking actually believe that, I already knew you were full of shit, John. You're just trying to make up excuses that aren't actually the actual reasons why you're not calling in, right? That's why when we come up with solutions to overcome the reasons that you say you're not going to call in, you still don't call in. It's because those weren't ever reasons in the first place, because the real reason you're not calling in is because you're a fucking coward. That, I told J. Mike about two weeks ago, I, I, likely I won't call. Yeah, but you also told us this this week, now, that the reasons you're not calling in are X, Y, Z, right? And then when you go through them and they're not a problem, you're still not calling in, right? Well, I, but, I think the only reason I would ever call would be just uh, uh, peer pressure. What else would there be? Oh, so you're able to be used like that? Why not? You succumb to peer John, pressure? Uh, don't do it because of peer pressure. Will you just do it? Will you just do it for me? Say whatever you need to to get past the call screener, and then just call in and argue about why won't he come debate me for five hundred dollars? He doesn't even have to leave his house. They want an hour of his time for five hundred dollars. I'll give it to him directly or the ACA. Uh, like what's his? You know, arg just sit there and argue with him about that. It'll be hilarious. Please. Can I call him a coward? Fuck yeah, tell him I think he's a coward too. That's, oh my god, this is rich. This is fucking rich now. Wow, is this real? John Lee, you're, you're now, let me, hold on a second. You're contemplating calling up Matt Dillahunty and not giving your story about the glowing Bible where you converted. Not giving, telling Matt Dillahunty about the story where you saw two angels in church, right? And that they were definitely angels. And instead, you're going to call about something completely unrelated and then call him a coward? Is that correct? If he's not going to debate Gigi for 50 bucks or $500, then... I, I mean, what uh... other reason could there be except that Matt Dillahunty is a coward, right? John, like what, he's too busy to make $500 for one hour of his time that he doesn't even have to leave his house for? That's a ridiculous claim, right? I mean, I'm not invested in like that. or I don't I don't know anything about that. I'm, in fact, yeah, I mean, if he does pay to pay, pay debates, just just pay him and fine. But and John, you can be the messenger. But John, remember that the whole reason, right, that we ever I ever like proposes to you in the first place is because you said that you've 
always wanted to call into the atheist experience, right? You're not afraid of Matt Dillahunty. And you and when you say you're full of shit about arguments, you say, oh, you think I didn't have arguments ready to go? I've got tons of arguments ready to go. Just a lot of posturing, peacocking, and bullshit, right? And I'm calling you out on your bullshit. Well, I already talked to him already. Right, exactly. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, what a joke, man. What a joke. So, are you still thinking about it, John? Are you still thinking about it now? Oh, you're the one thinking about it. I didn't even think about it, so you reminded <clears throat> me today. Yeah, but... Sounds like he's poking himself out of it now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In this call, you said you were thinking about it multiple times. Keep in mind, John, this is recorded. There's 100 people listening to this, right? You said that. You tried to pretend like you were actually thinking about calling in again like it was something that you were going to actually maybe do but we all know that you've already made up your mind that you're not going to do it just like i said right well my my bucket list is taken care of if that's what you're concerned about right right yeah that's it that's that's right so once again my prediction has come true right john i know you better than you know you I knew you were full of shit all along. Uh, I'm struggling to find incentive other than to make you happy, Tom. And I don't know if I'm that motivated to make you happy right now. Proving him wrong. You think that'll make him happy? But this is supposedly something that you want to do, right? You said you wanted to talk to Matt, right? This is something that's been going on for uh, over a decade. I already, I already did talk to him. <clears throat> oh, that's what you meant? Just to like say, oh, hi? You might, hey, hey, well, <clears throat> if that's the case, John, why not after you said John Lee from so-and-so, uh, why didn't you just hang up, right? You met your goal, right? You're full of shit again, John. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm satisfied with how that went. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. I'm, I'm sure you are because you didn't have to actually justify any of your beliefs. You didn't have to justify any of the beliefs that you claim to know. You claim to know for certainty, right? You, you, you didn't have to justify any of that, did you? Well, I did. <clears throat> I did have a burden of justification. They never gave me the chance. So let me ask you this, Aaron. and in front of in front of, in front of the hundred people that are watching, tell me, John, why you were opposed to telling Matt Dillahunty the story of the glowing Bible and the story of the two angels. Tell me, tell me. Well, I considered pearls of swine. Elaborate. Well, things that are precious, things that are valuable. Um, you know, just uh, to cast them before swine, uh, mm-hmm. they will tear you to pieces, trample all over you, and, and so forth. Oh, they would tear that's... you to pieces? How could they tear you to pieces on uh, something that's true, John? Well, look how you're taking the story, Tom. I mean, well, I've think... been on this for how long now? Are you saying that I tore that story to pieces? Uh... No, you're you're just. Oh, so uh, I didn't tear it to pieces. Two. Okay, so what makes you think that Matt's going to tear it to pieces? Because so of you're the atheist Jew. Oh, so he would t- tear your true story to pieces somehow? How? I don't understand. Uh, by what I give him. By the way, I can prove you're full of shit again because I don't know if you listened earlier, but your pearls to swine shit doesn't even fucking make sense because. You don't even tell that story to other Christians, John. Do you consider other Christians swine? I do. On rare oh, kids. wow. Now other Christians are swine, too. Wow. 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 Fucking amazing. Clap. No, wow. I love like that. A, they don't I love react it. like atheists, too. So that's why you also don't give that story to them? No. I... I do uh, sometimes, but not sometimes, well. right? But you don't yeah. other times. 
So it doesn't have anything to do with swine, right? Well, it does. Of course it does. Yeah. Are you telling me that you're not going to tell the story because you're not embarrassed of it and you think it's hard to, uh, you think it's very, very difficult to defend? Why would I be embarrassed about that? Because it's very difficult to defend and you look stupid and by your own lights you said that it gets torn apart. Yeah, that's why you're fucking embarrassed, John. I just don't think of it as beneficial necessarily, that's all. There, if not... there was a case that... Uh, there is, oh, and like talking about the definition of atheism is fucking beneficial? And like bringing some, yeah, some bullshit I mean, between Matt Dillonty and Aaron Arn Ra is beneficial? Get the fuck out of here, John! You're full of, of shit! I mean... I mean, if there, if there is... Some this motherfucker is now trying to say, stupid. like, oh, he's only going to call up and, like, pursue a certain avenue of dialogue if it's beneficial. Get the fuck out of here, John! Oh, uh, I see you're triggered already. You're starting to interrupt me now, so, I mean, it's, it's pretty... No, uh, go, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Get it out. Yeah, I'm just saying that as far as looking stupid, I mean, you think I care about that? Yes, Give absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Why why what other reason would you have for given what you just told Tom and all in this subject for avoiding that? Uh you you do realize what my room's called, right? Tom? It's called Fools for Christ, right? And I see that the when I quote the Bible verse like uh, the message of the cross is foolish foolishness to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it's the power of god and things like i'm not ashamed of the gospel because it's the power of god for the salvation of everyone who believes i mean do you really think that i care about how i look yes absolutely yeah 100 percent. yeah of course i mean do well, you consider do you I consider would... me do you consider me swine john yeah i'll Aren't all atheists swine? And, okay, uh, metaphorically? and just to be cl just to be clear, you've told me the Bible's the glowing Bible story multiple times, and you've told me the angel story multiple times, correct? Uh, no, I think probably uh, you've you've repeated it multiple times. Probably that's more accurate. <laughs> that's not true. I've I've heard I have heard them both multiple times, and you've also told the the, the angel story multiple times where I wasn't even there, like to Daniel. Now, are Daniel and I swine, John? Well, metaphorically, of course. Right. So this whole bullshit about you're not going to tell the story because it's casting pearls before swine. You do that, right? So that's obviously bullshit, right? No, yeah, I, I do things that are not wise often. A lot of times, Tom, you, you should know that. You right, so... capture it when I do... Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. But, so, you're going to do something here in this case, and then something not here in this case, and it just seems like you're fucking obviously terrified, right? I mean, you're entitled to your view on things. I mean, if yeah, that's how you yeah. see it, that's how you see it. It is how you I know, see it, yeah. Psychological projection is also real. Yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Um. Yeah. Nobody's buying it, John. We know that you're embarrassed to tell your own story. Well, I'm not. I mean, I'm not trying to sell it. Yeah, you are. You're the one trying to sell it, Tom. I'm the one. There's not nothing to it. sell, dude. It's the product sells itself, John. It's obvious for everyone to see. Then you don't need to pimp it. Oh no, no, no! I don't need to, but I want to just like want to hammer it home. I'm sure everybody can see it, but I just want to like lay it bare for an extended period of time. It's like I don't, I don't want to just like show and tell and then put it back in the drawer. I want it to stay out. God, I love all the hashtag weak in the YouTube chat. I love it. Weak. Yeah. Writes high in the side. Yeah, they're right? just. They're just parroting you. You might as well start a hashtag uh, shut up John Lee and your sycophants will parrot that too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, shut up John Lee is another good one. I love that one. Yeah, <laughs> you started it and uh, 
you know, your little minions will just uh, march in order, you know? You don't have to say it. Yeah, because it's not because, like, they agree with anything, right? It... I, your psyche like can't handle. Yeah, your 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 psyche can't handle at all that like other people might actually come to the same conclusion. Right? Other people might actually be convinced of the same thing. It's got to be somehow artificially creative, right, John Lee? Right? Because your psyche can't handle it otherwise, right? Oh, oh yeah, like people are just gonna automatically in mass come up with hashtag weak. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> well, they and agree with it. That's the whole point, last right? Week. They agree with it. Coincidentally, last week it was a uh, hashtag shut up John Lee or something. And, uh, yeah, that was great. Oh, yeah, that was. And it just so happened to be mentioned by you first, right? No, but you, you're you trying to that, say, right? look, look, but your your whole, what you're trying to say is that they wouldn't, they don't like have any kind of actual. Um, mind? A, actually, they don't actually have any kind of mind. And they're, they're merely saying that because I said it or something like that. Not because they, the, they also agree look, that you're weak. The whole point is that they actually agree that you're weak, John. You don't think that they um, actually agree that they're that you're weak? Tell, you're hold on a second. Let me tell tell me tell me and the people <laughs> tell me and the people. Oh, you're triggered that, now. Tell me and the people. But there are a lot of people that are on the Christian side that are saying the same stuff that hate your channel, Tom. So I mean. From just from my experience, uh, you know, like uh, th there's people that uh, that's how come I know so many dilettanteisms is because they watch the atheist experience and they 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 start saying I'd rather believe true things than false things or you know uh, a God does uh, that does not manifest in reality is indistinguishable from a God that does not exist. Now here's the funny part is I've never watched a video with Matt Dillonty saying any of these things. But because they paired it so often that that I put two and two together, I say, oh, okay, this is what Matt Delahunty said. Because they pair it mindlessly, what someone is saying. And I got to hand it to you, Tom. I mean, you have that uh, that sort of charisma that people are parroting what you say. That's, that's a compliment. What? I lost track of that. I don't know where it was going either. I don't know where it was going either. I mean, you have the qualities that, uh, you know, uh, cult the personality uh, would endeavor to aspire to. Dude, look, you ever think that maybe people, other people just agree that you're fucking weak here? You ever think of that, John? No, they, they, they can't actually agree with that, like, in actuality they just have to be like going along with like the current or something like that no one here believes um, that you're I fucking think, weak i think when you began your opening you mentioned the word weak oh i don't know only 30 times 40 times you think people aren't you know Goebbels, you know said if you repeat the lie often enough people are gonna believe it so you, you know, think that, that's propaganda. you think it's a lie that you're weak in this situation? No, right? what that I'm you're saying weak. is that you you're not. So you don't. You're not saying that. No, no, no. What I am saying is that in the last half hour, or so you personally have mentioned weak about forty times, and you wonder why people aren't typing hashtag weak. Tom, seriously? Because they agree with it. That's why. Are you saying you're not weak? No. What I am saying <laughs> is that. Tom mentions it that many times, works up to sycophants, and they're going to start repeating, parroting of what he's saying in a mindless way. Yeah, because they think you're weak, John. Let me just answer the question directly. Do you think that the people actually think that you're weak, too? Do you think that any of them do? I think that they think what you think and oh. what you want them to think. Yes, I do. You think that they think what I think, not because they also think it, because I think it, and then they, that's the only reason? I think that you put a narrative out there, and then uh, uh, you worked it, and uh, you just kind of like, you know how like someone applauds, and all of a sudden... Everyone in the audience also applauds because one person initiates it, something like that. It's not that much different. Yeah, you're, and you're then, crazy, and then, dude. And then, 
And then you ask the question, oh, do you think my class uh, caused all these other people to fight? You don't think that they individually, in and of themselves, thought to applaud for this thing? And that's just a laughable proposition. You're, wow, that's like, that's like incredible cope, man. That's why they have cheerleaders, Tom. I mean, you might as well wear a little skirt with pom-poms. You're crazy. John, I laid out that's why the best you're... You got? I laid out... No, wait, what, do wait, wait, what do you mean that's the best I got? What do you mean that's the best I got? Bro, bro, what do you mean that's the best I got? John, why, what do you mean... Hashtag, Hold on. Crazy. Dude, hashtag crazy. Try it out, Tom. It may, it may work. <clears throat> that's, cr that's insane that you'd say that's the best I got. I laid out the whole timeline going back two, three weeks ago starting with your ambitions to call into the atheist experience i laid all that out played the video how it how it went how you got all the inside lines you got all everything going for you and to, to up until today present day right now you've still got an access uh, uh, a direct access to get on the show you've got james look we talked to james like last week you could be on the show in one hour talking to jay mike and matt dillahunty again and fulfill your dream that you've always had right but you're fucking weak right and you're also weak because you don't want to talk about your own spiritual experiences which were so compelling that they convinced you that god is real that's why you're fucking weak john so don't give me this bullshit about like that's all you have bro i laid it all fucking out Yeah, I reject the proposition that those two experiences helped me to quote unquote believe God is real. That that's that's pretty uh, funny. Are you telling me that you sat down and the Bible started to glow and the letters lifted off of the pages and that had nothing to do with you converting in that like one hour time period? Uh, from my recollection, it was scripture itself. So, yeah, you know how you described it? You said, I read the book of John, and I said, wow, this Jesus sounds like a nice guy. So, let me get this straight. You read the book of John, and the story about Jesus being a, quote, nice guy was more compelling to you than the Bible glowing and the letters lifting off the page. Is that correct, John? Well, I mean, I read further on and, and came oh, to uh, oh, a much oh, okay. different conclusion, right? That's how so, it began, yeah. right? Yeah. Did you read a bunch of like begets and begets and so and so begets that, and then that was really what made you believe a believer, not the glowing fucking Bible with the letters lifting off right. the fucking pages, John? And I also, and I also explained to you even after that experience, uh, I had questioned the experience in a sense of, uh, I genuinely thought that possibly like some. Maybe some LSD I had in the past that embedded itself into my fat cells and it burned off at that moment. Or, I mean, I th I thought all sorts of things uh, subsequent to that. So why why would why would why would the uh, that skepticism or uncertainty lead to faith? As you, you're just your story doesn't work. Well, got, John, John, can I ask you a question on that? Um, did you find that experience? Like, do you, why do you think God, do you think it was from God? Or do you think it wasn't from God? It was just coincidental. No, I think it was a spiritual experience. Man, see, for me, man, it's just weird to hear somebody say that I had this experience from God, but I didn't find it motivating. Because I don't, yeah. I feel like God's got, God, when God sends me a message, like he does it out of, like he has a purpose for it and he doesn't just say shit. Um, he doesn't want people to listen to. Oh, like that's a great action, objection, right? Because right, when he he takes an action, whole... it's it's important, right? So let me let me ask you something, John. When God sent you that spiritual experience, was He trying to convince you of something? I don't know. Maybe you want to ask. You don't know. I don't know. You, you don't know? 
Well, the, first of all, this is weird for two reasons. Um, for, because one, for, for example, I'll give you an example. Uh, when Jesus uh, fed the four thousand, right? Was he trying to convince them of something? Well, after he fed the four thousand, he went across the lake, and uh, people followed him, right? And uh, it was such the case that he was teaching some things uh, about, uh, you know, uh, I'm the bread of life and so, things like that. And people, it says in clearly that his disciples, many of his disciples, meaning those who followed him, turned away, right? So were they convinced? Well, I would say no. Yeah, but here's the thing. You already have the answer to your question, because if it is your position correct, that God cannot try to convince someone and fail, correct? That's your position, right, John? It, it is my position. Okay, so it, when, I, when I say, when you were talking about the experience and you saying you weren't convinced by it, guess what the next logical step is, John? Was God trying to convince me would be the not, next logical There's a step. kind of obvious answer if you weren't convinced by it, isn't there, John? If I wasn't convinced by it, the next logical question would be, was God trying to convince me? Yeah, John, and what's the obvious answer, and John? It would be no, right? Right, but when I asked you, was God trying to convince you with that spiritual experience, what did you say, John? I said, I don't know. Yeah, so can you? are you understanding why that's a little fucking stupid, John? Because I said that I didn't know? Yeah. And if he was trying to convince me, Tom? Then that doesn't make any sense because God wouldn't be real, according to you. No. No, then the conclusion would be that he succeeded in doing so, would it not? No. Because you already what said you that no. he wasn't convincing. Wait. Minute, you told me minute, it wasn't convincing, God, John. Wait a minute. If God was trying to convince me, right, and I was convinced by that experience, then it, it would be the case that he did not fail to convince me, right? Correct, per, correct, okay. John. But right. you already said you already said that you weren't convinced by it, dumbass. Are you sure I didn't say that uh, I didn't know? Oh my God, dude. You don't know if you were convinced by something is like is different. By the way, I think you probably said both, but I mean you're just you're just reaching right now. How could you be convinced of something and then not know that you were convinced, John? Well, I do know that I was convinced. Now, whether I was convinced by one circumstance or another as I recall it it was the scripture that convinced me that's that's what I recall that's what I yeah so if you don't know now. then it could have been the case that you were convinced by it right convinced by the scripture right you could have been convinced by the scripture or the spiritual experience if you don't know correct John so, so as I recall I was convinced by a scripture as I recall now, but, you you know, right, it, but you don't know, right, John? But you don't know, right, John? And by you your own lights, and by your own lights, it's possible that the glowing Bible convinced you, right? Well, as I think about it, once again, I think it was the Bible that convinced me, Tom. Oh, yeah. With the glowing Bible? Well, as I recall, it didn't, it didn't remain glowing as I was reading it. <laughs> It only it supernaturally like glowed no. for a, a, a couple minutes, not like an extended period of time. Wow. And the letters That's lifted different. off the page, so you know, we can't we can't be too hasty, right? I mean, as I'm recollecting, I'm trying to think. Okay, how long was it for? Fifteen seconds? Longer? I mean, I don't remember, but I, I it wasn't. It couldn't have been that long. Right, so you said you weren't convinced by the glowing Bible, 
So that just means that God either wasn't trying to convince you or, um, it, it well, it has no, to be I the didn't. case. No, I, I don't know. I, I don't lean know. toward that. I lean toward that. That was a determinative factor. No, but if God was trying to convince you, right, it can't be the case that you weren't convinced by it, right? So if Period. it were the case that if it were the case that I was convinced or or helped to be convinced by that experience, well then then God succeeded. Great. Right. So it just means that if God was trying to convince you with the spiritual experience, he could not have failed, correct? Yeah, that's already given. Right, exactly, John. So <clears throat> it's possible that God tried to convince you with the spiritual experience. And he obviously succeeded, whether he was convincing you with X or Y. So mm, why not no, tell... No, not necessarily. Because, well, you, because are con you were is... convinced, right? Yeah, but being convinced does not necessitate that someone's trying to convince you. <sighs> Wouldn't it imply that God decreed it, though? Uh, yeah, it would. Does a, so that's God's will that you were convinced, right? Uh, that would also be correct. So but that God, implies that God intended will, that. But God's will and his intentions to convince are two separate propositions. Is a will a kind of intention? I'm talking about the intention to convince, specifically. Yeah, but go ahead and answer the question. Is a will a kind of intention? Uh, I understand it as more of an act. Does action imply an intention? Um, I also think not necessarily. Oh what do you take an action to be? I knew he was going to say that. What do you take an action to be? When a human acts, um, what do you take that to mean? Um, the first word that comes to mind is motion. Okay, so you're you're acting right now in the sense that your heart is beating? You're acting? That's you? Um, is my... Well, um... You want to, if you want to understand it involuntarily, why not? So, what do you mean if he wants to? That's your idea he's exploring. You're the one that wants to think of it that way. Do you have a problem with my wording, Tom? You want to yeah, so when, he, when John sweats, like he is right now, John's probably sweating right now. He's acting, right? He's doing that. I don't necessarily would uh, characterize it that way, but if you yeah, want to... I wonder why. Why wouldn't you characterize it that way? Does it kind of seems like action's intentional, isn't it? Well, I mean, one could though. Wouldn't what? One could. Uh, Look at how timid and weak and, and meek and mild he becomes <laughs> when you just turn the YouTube stream on. It's crazy. Got people on YouTube, John is not like this. Don't feel sorry for him, right? Like, he he is not some meek and mild Christian, right? He he says horrible, horrible things, right? And is proud of saying horrible. I could play you things right now, but I can't because they're too they're too much for even YouTube, right? They're so crazy that that the video would just get nuked or something right that right. Well, I mean, your crowd recognizes that Daniel. Danny's trying to bully me. I mean, oh, well, uh... <laughs> victim card now. He's playing the victim. It's pretty weak. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. I don't think any other Christian that I know says that if God wills something, then. It, that it's unintentional. It could be unintentional. No, it's, I didn't say unintentional. Just because it does not have intentions 
does not rec- re- necessarily mean unintentional either. All right, let's do it again. Is will a type of intention? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really see um, that necessarily um, as far as being uh, part of will. I, like right, I said, I so that means that you could... Like an action. Yeah, so that means that if God wills, under your view, it could be unintentional if it's not necessary, right? That it's un- an in- intentional notion. So I didn't well, mischaracterize you. Well, he I could mean, will something that he didn't have, like, some sort of attitude toward, like, he wants it to, like, come to be. Or intended yeah, it. Well, well, I mean, like, as far as intention... It's possible. I could see the possibility that when you say unintentional, well, I see that unlikely. And then so the third thought is that is it is it a true dichotomy in a sense that those are the only options? And I would say maybe not. Maybe that's not the. Okay, only it's option. either look here. It's either maybe it that God even apply. Maybe it doesn't even it's apply. either it's either that God's will is intentional or not intentional. What's your position if you do know? It may not even involve intentions. Yeah, so I already know that it may be intentional or it may not be intentional, okay? Which means that if you don't take that position that's one or the other, if it could be either, that means that it's possible when God decrees or willingly decrees an event, it could be unintentional or not intentional. No. When, when I think of uh, the word like not involving intentions, I don't necessarily think it would be understood as unintentional. It's either so intentional that's... or not intentional, right? And you're saying that it's not necessarily intentional, right? I'm going to say it again. Not involving intentions uh, is, is not necessarily synonymous with unintentional. I think, I think that... Uh, I, I don't think that it's uh, uh, understood as like without intentions necessarily. I'm not understanding. Maybe it'd just be easier just to say this, Danny. It's give us an example. Thing. Give us an example of God willing something but not intending it. Right. And not intending does not necessarily represent unintentional is what, I'm, what I've been trying to say. What's the difference? Uh, un- unintentional is sort of like uh, incidental, accidental, uh, things like that, and 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 the the action. So is a part of God's will different. accidental? That's even that's worse. What I'm saying. That's what. No, that's exactly what I'm saying. And so those are synonymous with unintentional, but not involving intentions uh, are do not necessarily apply there. That's what I'm trying to say. That not involving intentions and unintentional are not synonymous. That's what I've been trying to say. Look, okay, so you're this... just not understanding the question. The question is, conceptually speaking, does a will imply an intention? Okay, which means that, I don't know what you're... Yeah, meaning. that was the original question. Okay, so it's either that, the concept entails an intention, or it doesn't entail an intention. Yeah, and if it doesn't entail an intention, it's not necessarily unintentional is my whole point okay so then your belief is that it could be a, 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 that the term will that either may could, not involve intentions it may it either does or doesn't right and yeah well that it may not involve intentions no 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 it doesn't it, it's either that it implies necessarily an intention or doesn't imply necessarily an intention and so so you're asking me my knowledge of that proposition, of which a third option is I don't know, correct? Yeah, third, you may not know. And that's why if I do not know, it may not involve intentions. Does that make sense? Okay, so if you don't know whether when God decrees or wills um, a state of affair under his decree of... I can, I can consider it, sure. Okay, you so know? if you sure. don't know, that's another thing. But then that's just still we- strange. Um because you're, 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 you're con- <laughs> go ahead, Tom. Are you saying that it's uh, not necessarily the case and it's possible because there's no contradiction, John? 
No, I'm saying that I'd really not have considered it. So you guys are asking me for answers that I've not even considered. And, and uh, the best answers, I don't know. That may be the case. Not necessarily. And these are my answers. Okay, that's great, John. Thanks a lot, man. John, I mean, T minus. I do have certain attitudes. T minus forty-five minutes until the atheist experience, John. Um, I just uh, received a message from one J Mike. He will be co-hosting oh, today really? in forty-five minutes with Matt Dillahunty. Says, "Yeah, tell him to call in. I'll get him on." That's what he says. Hey, John Lee, if you call in, you mention me at all, and, and uh, J. Mike tries to open his mouth about it, uh, say, well, you know, J. Mike, you said you actually agreed with Godless Girl over Matt Dillahundy on the issue she called about last week. You said oh, that. wow. I remember that conversation. He was very mad at you, wasn't he? Yeah, well, I, I kept know. pushing him to, because uh, he said Matt Dillahunty would win the debate against me, so I kept pushing him to debate it about me right then and there, and he was really resistant for a long time, and we were going back and forth, and he was bringing up, like, my past to try to deflect, and then, uh, in the end, he said, well, I actually agree with you, godless girl, and think Matt Dillahunty is wrong. You keep rubbing your microphone, godless. <clears throat> you, you, don't okay. think, uh, he'll be, you don't think he may be upset if I bring it up? I mean, That'll be good. Let him get upset. Right. Why? Why well, would that we'll stop see. you, John? You're a fucking troll. <laughs> Hashtag troll now, Tom. You are a troll. Is, is there any hashtag trolls uh, on your thread yet? Just out of curiosity. No. Well, mention about twenty more, twenty more times. I'll bet you they'll start trickling in. God, you're so salty, dude. Your 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 psyche is so fragile that you have to like come up with some sort of rationalization to why, like, there's a group of people that you know agree about some criticism of you. You have to like come up with a rationalization to why it's not actually the case. That's pathetic, dude. I see it here on Clubhouse almost every day, Tom. I mean, do you remember that little recording of my wife that you made like into a robot? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you don't think you have uh, that going around you uh, all over Clubhouse and or uh, your your uh, channel? Dude, like, what is, like, stop, like, making me out to be some sort of, like, um, like, mass. Uh, cult leader? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm some sort of, like, you know, I have more influence on Clubhouse than, like, Snoop Dogg or something. I mean, get, get out of here, bro. Well, I mean, the hashtag shut up John Lee and hashtag weak, I mean, you don't think that's influenced there, Tom? Well, I came up with the, like, you know, the catch, the, the hashtag, but people are saying it because they probably fucking agree with it. You think there's people out here that don't think that you're weak and they're typing hashtag weak? Is that what you think? Well, I mean, do you allow them to think otherwise, Tom? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Tom, that reminds me. Uh, which one of our wives are you sleeping with tonight? Just so I can make sure I don't make plans with mine. Just <laughs> so in case. you're just ridiculous, John. <laughs> you're just. This is all just cope, John. You know what happens when people come up on your stage and dissent with you, right? Uh, you get you got like four or five like, sick of like you. Just... Like you. You don't. <laughs> like you you think, know. John? What gave you the impression, John, that the, um, while we've been talking and it's and the entire time it's been streamed to YouTube, that we're in agreement on something, bro? We're almost exclusively Wait, I, disagreeing. You know, I don't bring like a posse to try to uh, put some idea uh, forward. Like and Matt to... Adams, Johnny. No, 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 I was thinking more like Silver Star. James. That's a whole different story. What? No, mm. James would not do that. Not now. No, James would not bring a friend along to back him up. No, no, no. I was listing people in your posse. Oh, my God. James, uh, is, James is in my posse? Well, I mean, 
Used to be. I, 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 I would hope he still is. I mean, if you want to say that. Oh, got, just, John, I, I, it's been brought to my attention that they're, um, they're attempting to, uh, to uh, aid you in like uh, a, uh, because of your weakness. A they're, topic? They're, the, the entire chat is trying to do like a, some sort of like spirit bomb so that it can give you their energy so that you can actually have the nuts to call into the atheist experience. They're, they're actually people that are putting their hands up, like in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, what do you think about that? That's pretty... Do you feel the energy? Do you feel it? Well, <laughs> no. John Lee needs your strength right now. He's too weak to call in to talk to Matt Delonte. Please. I mean, that, Please, give him your energy. Chopra stuff, man. Are, are you into that, Tom? The astral projection... Does that ring a bell for you at all? Bro, we're talking about Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Also, someone asked about, what do you think about the uh, hashtag fragile? Do you like that one? I like hashtag troll. I mean, I'm surprised you're not pushing that one. That's too, ba that's too basic. There's a lot of hands over here. We're going to get, do you feel, do you feel any different, John? Do you feel like you have the power to actually call into a show? I do not. An internet call-in show? No? Yeah. So what should I tell J-Mike? That you're just like straight up coward? What should I get back to him? Or what? I mean, what should I say? John Lee's coward? Well, I mean, what if you type, what if you told J-Mike John Lee wants to talk about, continue the discussion about uh, uh, believing atheists don't exist? Yeah, he said fine. <laughs> he said fine. Are you serious? Of course. He said fine for that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh, wait, am I right? Is Tom right again, John? Do you remember what I said, right? I don't know what you said. I, when you told me, like, well, yeah. if, if J. Mike, if, if they'll allow me to, like, do this one topic, you know, and I'm going to make an ultimatum or whatever... Then, like, you know, I'll call in. And then I said, what did I tell you, John? I said, you're full of shit. It's just another one of your fucking excuses. And I'll talk to J-Mike. And when he says that that's fine, and he agrees to it, there's just going to be some other fucking excuse of why you don't call in, right? So what's the next excuse? Let's just, let's just skip the fucking charades, right? What's the next excuse, John? Well, I mean, you're misrepresenting if you said that. If I said, uh, if you're saying I said, that if uh they're okay with it i would do it I didn't say yeah that. that's that's something that was a concern right and now that that's that's no longer a concern there's just still you're just still you're obviously still not going to call in and there's just some other excuse that you're going to come up with right right do you think you're fooling anyone with this shit john who the fuck do you think is buying any of this shit it's so transparently bullshit I don't see how you could actually fucking think you're fooling anyone. Well, it's, it's beginning to sound attractive. If, if, if oh, now we're back to here. Yeah, okay, now it's sounding attractive again, right? Because you have to say this because one of your, like, supposed reasons for not calling in has been eliminated. So now you got to go back to attract. It's, it's attractive. It's so attractive, John, that you're, what, not going to call in? The thing that's now becoming attractive is now not attractive enough to call in, right, John? You're full of shit. It's like when he says that he might start making arguments. <laughs> like, does anybody believe him on that? Of course not. When did I ever say that? What kind of arguments? Well, you said you have arguments ready to go, go, right? Yeah, you said you had, when you talked about, when we said, like, oh, you don't have, you don't debate, like, you know, the existence of God and stuff like that. You're like, oh, no, are you kidding me? I've got, like, arguments ready to go. Oh, you're talking about, like, arguments for the existence of God? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course, there's yeah, so what's the problem? Call into the show about giving arguments for the existence of God and give no, some of the arguments that you have for the existence of God. No, I find them pointless, and you already know that. I stopped doing those almost 10 years ago. 
at yeah. least five or six, five to seven years ago. No, more than five. But anyway. Why don't you tell them about your angels that you saw, John? No, I don't. Like, why do you guys always bring up subjects you're interested in? Oh, it's not just me, John. Trust me, John. Matt would be very well, I mean, interested. Matt would be very interested in your angel story, John. He would love to talk to you about your angel story. Well, I, could, I, I could care less about what he's interested in. He's interested in magic. I'm not. Big deal. He's probably interested in Satanism. I'm not. Transvestites. I don't care. I don't mean, who cares about them? No, oh, come on, dude. Listen. <laughs> you you think Matt was interested in talking about the definition of atheism with you? Why do you keep mentioning the definition of atheism? I hate to talk that discussion. No, you don't. You already John. know that. Of course I do. Let me ask you this, John. What would it take for you to call in and talk to Matt about your angel story and your book, glowing Bible story? Oh, I, I, that's that's a non-starter. Why? Because it is. I mean, you're the one mentioned it. What? Uh, maybe fifty times today. That's fifty. Your no. interest, not mine. Yeah, but why? I don't need to give you a reason. Okay, got it. Nice. You think anyone's buying that bullshit either? Well, you think I'm interested in it? No, I think you want to avoid it like the plague because it's it's a mortifying story. Well, there you go. Trying I'm to peddle that as like some, for, some sort of pick real your, thing. Pick your own reason, fill in the blank, and have, have a nice day in your fantasy land. Oh, is it fantasy? Which why? Then true. tell me why. Well, tell tell me what. Oh, yeah, John, what's the real reason then, John? What's the real reason then, John? If you're convinced of a reason, what do you even need me for? Because I can be unconvinced, depending on what you say. Why would I try to convince you, Tom? You try to convince me of things all the time, John. Like, you know, you sound like a desperate atheist. Please convince me of the existence of God. Please. I'll believe if you give me evidence, please. You think I'm swayed by that? <laughs> well, no, but that's not because of anything like the Bible. You're just like, you just don't want to fail. I know you're not swayed by that, bro. Because you're fucking embarrassed of your own arguments. You tried them for 10 years. They failed miserably, right? You abandoned it because the, it is a metric of failure. Your psyche can't handle the failure. And you don't call into Matt Dillahunty because you might fail. Well, the topic about atheists and ex-Christians is actually appetizing. That's what I wanted to do the first time. Do it. There's a yeah. part of me that says maybe uh, just leave it as it was for, what, three minutes, 15 seconds? Leave it at that. Or pursue it. I don't, I don't, I haven't decided yet, Tom. <clears throat> yeah, you haven't decided yet. Right. Yeah, sure, John. But you are saying, you are saying he's going to take my call if I call him. That's correct. And the topic didn't matter. Is that what you're saying? No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, you can't just call in and like say, I want to talk about my new Swiffer Sweeper, right? Obviously, you got to be like, it's got to be something that's within a range that's acceptable as far as the content that they're looking for, right? Look. I mean, we're like kind of going back and forth. I'm giving you a lot of shit. And like, I do think that you're a fucking coward, right? But if you actually want to call in, like you say that you do, right? Like you've had this, like this ambition for like how many years and stuff, right? Obviously the last I don't even know why you keep bringing that up. Because I that's what you. started this whole thing, John, is because you said you've well, always been wanting to call in. The check on the bucket list is there, so why would it be? Why would I'm gonna erase the little check mark? Why, it's just like it that's just like dumb though, anymore? because you're saying that like, oh, I've my I got skydiving on my bucket list, and then like you know, 
there was something wrong with the plane so then like while it was still on the ground you like hopped off onto the pavement and then like you're checking that off your bucket list bro what the fuck is wrong with you hey jumping off a plane is jumping off a plane no it's not dude that's the whole point look i'm just saying that look it's open for you right now you could call in right now and you'll be in line when the show starts in half an hour and if that's the case you can get on with someone you already know, J. Mike, and Matt Dillahunty. And when you get on with the person that you already know and Matt Dillahunty, the two people that you've been waiting to be on, right? So you could call in. You've dis- dismissed calling in other weeks because Matt Dillahunty was not on, right? Now the condition of Matt Dillahunty being on is now Matt again, right? Seems like everything is just lining up to like the conditions in which you're professing or the conditions in which like I will call in. So all the stars have aligned, right? You got Matt on today. You have J Mike on today. You have a clear path, right? Your call will be accepted. You can talk about what you want. Now here you are. It's just like all the conditions that you wanted to be met are not met. So like what else are people supposed to fucking believe, John? You know, you are working harder than the Hebrew Israelite who's saying salvation is only for the Israelites. That's how hard you're working. Like, no one cares to if it's true or not, you know. Okay, so you couldn't call in or not? Call in. Let your nothing drop. It's fine. I don't know. I don't know. You, uh, uh, you, you, know, so you don't that. know. He's still oh, trying okay. to pretend you're, like he seriously might do it, right? You're, right? you're literally <laughs> talking to me so much that I like I don't even have time to think. Go ahead and think. Think out loud, though. Let's hear the thought process, John. <laughs> this is the thought process out loud. <laughs> you, you want you want to know the thought process out loud? <laughs> nothing, literally nothing. You, that was him really thinking out loud. Know? Yeah, I want to hear it. Okay, so if if I go on J Mike, then Tom is gonna get what he wants that he's been trying so hard to work. Mm-hmm. And if that's the case, then um, you know my ODD will kick in. Your supposed like ODD, status. right, John? Your supposed, my, my, alleged, your alleged, alleged ODD, ODD, right, John? Yeah, okay. Right. To where uh, I won't be satisfied with uh, Tom manipulating uh, my action. And so I have to fight that, right? So I have to struggle with that. Meanwhile, I have to contemplate my own desires, irrespective of what Tom wants, because that's important. And so then I would have to consider, despite Tom wanting whatever he wants, uh, it would be incumbent upon me to not have people like Tom affect my personal desires. And what are my personal desires? Well, my personal desires are such that, uh, uh, you know, I really wouldn't mind talking about uh, certain things, but I really have no high motivation to call, even though J. Mike's there, even though the availability's there. And so it's the case that... Uh, I'm not really up for it, um, despite the few people I have been talking to lately. And so uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I'm not that interested in the sense of uh, uh, Matt Dillahunty, for one. Um, You're afraid of him, huh? No, it's not that I'm afraid of him. It's more You're not like... Afraid of him. Uh, no, it, it's more like um, I don't have like an interest in talking with them. Maybe, maybe something like how some atheists don't have an interest in talking with a guy like Darth Dawkins. Some people want to desperately challenge him, whatever. Some people just don't want to give him the time of day. If he, were, if he joined like, this room right now, would you talk to him? Yeah, I would talk with him. Okay, so you obviously have an interest in talking to him, right? That's just more bullshit that we can just, like, you know, get out of the... That's push a off the table. It's a different forum. 
a different forum. Well, what the fuck does that matter? Well, I mean, even if he's mod or not mod, it makes a big difference. That kind of a thing. Okay, so. By the way, John, in your in your when you were thinking out loud, do you realize how many times you said Tom in in that? Bro. What's wrong with you? I I probably said Tom far less than you said week since we started this uh conversation. So? So bro, I mean, you said week again. You know how many times? The, look, the how point times, is that how like how many times do you think you said week, Tom? Probably two dozen or so. The, the uh, point is, John, in your yeah, own thought you process, right? Your thought process you was 60. your thought process was like completely just riddled with thinking about me and what I'm gonna like or not like or what happens if you do this and how it relates to Tom. Bro, can you just like do what you want to do or not do what you want to do? Or if something's interesting to you, then pursue it. If not, don't. First and foremost, you say you're saying that you you created a room call. Will John Lee call the atheist experience like he claims to, which is first. Like he claims to want to. That's title. it. Got cut off. It was too long. Oh, yeah. In any case, I mean, it seems that you primarily like kind of took me out of another room earlier, and mentioned this. So I took so you out of another room. I took what, you out of another yeah, three, room. Three, what, three hours ago? You're still on it. You still have full energy. And and you're, like, totally motivated for some reason. Uh, as you can see, I'm sort of lackadaisical about the situation. And yeah. I could either go do be with it or without it. Uh, I You know, I, I'm not that uh, amped up for it. I'm not. Yeah, I mean that's what I thought. Look, I don't, I don't have, I, I didn't, I didn't walk into this thing not thinking that you were going to actually call it atheist experience. Like I said, right? If I had to bet, I would say that you're not going to fucking do it because you're a coward, right? Right? This is, this is kind of merely just an exercise in exposing your like bullshit reasons for not doing it, right? And we've done that for what, how many, two hours now or something like that. I mean, my, my concerns are, do I want to do it or not? And I don't, like, it's kind of uh, entertaining to float around in my mind, but I don't yeah. know if I'm interested. Yeah, instead, you're just going to be on here talking about this stuff, right? You're the one that created this stupid room to talk about it. And on top of it, you decided to stream this conversation. Yeah, but you're here talking about it right in here rather than there but i mean just like obvious that it's not you're not like averse to talking about it right uh vampire biggie says i doubt he believes in his glowing bible story a true troll wow 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 john another, john lee is a coward John Lee is a coward. He's afraid of J. Mike and Matt D. Terrified. Wow. Uh, what about petrified? Isn't that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. More I would say on? that's correct. Yeah. Yeah, you're fucking. You're fucking terrified. Yeah, for sure. You know, terrified. You can be scared, but you can still run, right? Petrified. So, you can't even move because so you're so scared. Just make it clear, John. Right. Is you being are, are you being scared um is of going on the show stage fright maybe fear of what people will say fear of stage say fright what are you kidding me are are you, are you saying are you are you honestly saying that fear has nothing to do with why you won't call into the experience right now are you saying that yeah i think apathy is probably uh a better accurate word was going on no no no. but you didn't answer the question and and you did that thing where you segue into the next sentence with yeah but it's not actually saying yes you're just like it's just a, some kind of verbal tick you have right so the, i'll ask you again the question is are you saying that fear is not a factor at all zero percent of your decision to not call into the atheist experience right now 
Yeah, you know, I begin my statements with... Is that a yeah, a yes, or a yeah, that's just some verbal tick? Yes or no, yeah, I, John? I do start, yeah, I do start out with uh, that word a lot. When I begin yeah, so statement. what's the answer, John? John, what's the answer, John? So, your lack of answering, John? Everyone who's in... There's now 135 people, right? We're up from 100. Oh, goodness. So 135 people now, this is exactly what I wanted to show them. Witness to you being fucking scared. I, I love how you are so adept at weaving a narrative, Tom. Oh, bro, the basket is making itself. I don't know if you realize this. I mean, look at Veckel, or the latest example. Look what you make him out. You make him out. You're changing the time. subjects. You're changing the subject, right? I see what you're trying to do, John. I'll ask the question again for you. Is fear a factor at all in you not calling the atheist experience right now? Well, I'm surprised you're yeah, like actually what? this. This wow, it's this kinda, is. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, do you deny the Holocaust question? You know. Do you, do you actually think that? Uh, Wait, do you think that's a difficult question? Do you think that I'm actually afraid of talking to Dylan on T Tom? Yes. And you're not answering the question. Uh, Peter Wentz, I would respect John more if he just admitted the obvious. No, am I? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh, what do you say the reason is you don't want to, John? Oh, I, if you're going to ask me, Godless, I, I would say apathy. <clears throat> I don't think apathy is a very good explanation, though, because... There's all sorts of conditions like, you know, you know, if this and this and this and this, then like I would want to call and they've all the stars have all aligned and it's and he's not wanting to call. What does it mean to say like, oh, if if con conditions A through Z were met, then I would be apathetic to it. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's a good one. Um, Phil Bunny? Hashtag John Flea. That's a good one. That's a good one, huh, John? <laughs> oh, I've heard of that one probably hundreds of times. John Flea. So, John, um, let me ask you again, because I don't think I ever got an answer out of you. Is fear at all a factor in you not calling the atheist experience right now? Yeah, I thought I answered your question already, Tom. You did not. You mean you did not get a yes or no? That's what you're saying, right? You didn't answer the question in a not yes or no way. Like something like correct or that oh. is correct. Yes, that is the case. Uh, that's affirmative. And nothing, nothing of the case, nothing like that. Yeah, did you know you did not give me a yes or no to my question? Which one? I said right, and it's either yes, I'm right, or no, I'm not right. What question? You don't even hear questions directed to you, Tom? I'm just saying repeat it, dude. Did you notice I asked you another yes or no question that you did not answer? Which one? Did you notice I gave you three yes or no questions that you did not answer? No. Oh, finally I know. Thank you. Okay, so what's the answer to my question? So I actually asked you four questions. You did not answer the first three, and the last one you answered no. So thank you. Okay, can you answer it's mine now? To demonstrate, it's just to demonstrate that uh, you yourself 
or not get at answering questions. That's all. So you're just going to refuse the answer? Oh, it's 15 minutes before the show. You, If you call now, you'll get on hold for, like, be the first caller. That's true, John. That's true, John. Please go to it. You can embarrass J. Mike and get challenge Jill Hunty about me. <laughs> oh, man. You know, Gigi, to be honest, uh, your request, like, just complicates things even more. Well, you don't have to do my request. Right. If Pope, there's a good, he... how about if there's a good opportunity, you bring it up. Oh, there will be a good opportunity. Uh, Ryan Pope, does he think people spend hours talking about things they're apathetic about? Right. People are in chat are saying, "John Lee, take my energy." They they want you to call. They're willingly giving you their energy. Would John pray to his God and ask this God to give him convincing evidence to change Matt's mind? No, he wouldn't do that. John, just think, right? They're actually talking to Matt Dillahunty, right? Um, you're talking to an audience, right? Now, Matt Dillahunty is a godless fucking heathen, right? You're not going to convince him. And you're not trying to. You're not going to fail at convincing Matt Dillahunty because you're never trying to, right? Hey, you're never going to... You can't fail at convincing Matt Dillahunty. That was never your goal, right, John? How could you fail? Yo, man, maybe I could talk about that. I wonder if you yeah. have that conversation. Yeah, sure. Go for Cause, it. Because he, he mentioned something about uh, that he's not interested in convincing me that he's an atheist uh, last week before he hung up on me. And uh, I wonder if he thinks that I, as a Christian, am in any way interested in presenting to him, uh, you know, um, ideas to be convinced that uh, that God exists. What charity does John support? I'll give twenty dollars if he calls in. Twenty dollars to your charity if you if you call in, John. I, I think that's a good topic for some reason. You know, that, that, yeah, go that, get on uh, hold now. Go get on hold. The charity is Operation Rescue. You, it's thirteen minutes till the thirteen minutes till they start. This is like the perfect time to call in because you don't have to be on on hold long. James is tired of asking to come up. I'll tell you what, Tom. Um, why don't Why don't you uh, send the uh, the number to my? Uh, I think I got an idea. Uh, his number to my uh, back channel. It's the same number I sent you before. It's still there. It didn't go anywhere. Nah, uh, I gotta scroll. I guess. Yeah, let me see. What's what? Is what? Scroll up four messages. I never talked to you. <laughs> Tom, you don't think it's possible that he actually <laughs> intended on calling the whole time and he just wanted more attention so he dragged it out like this i don't know i mean i think i think when you join the fray uh something i don't know uh i got it i just received a screenshot it says um he asked for john lee to come speak to him wanted to make sure that's still on this is in the youtube live chat right now um and the moderator says Oh, yes, definitely have him try again with a better argument. Seems like uh, there's a trickle down if they're expecting you, John. Oh, it says it's a phone call icon. Is he doing it? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, guys, I don't think that I can um, like stream the call because uh, 
I think I think I think that's not allowed. But but YouTube guys, you can go and listen to it like in another tab or something, and then we can talk about it. But after the show is over, we can probably play it together. But you guys can watch it. We can all listen to it separately. So, okay, predictions, predictions. If he's on the phone right now with them, predictions, what's going to happen? Um, whatever he's come up with, I don't, I wasn't even really paying attention, right? I just wanted him to call in. But um, if it's the case that he does get on, it's going to be another bullshit topic, right? It's going to be something that they're not very interested in. And it's going to end in, it can't go longer than five minutes, right? Five minutes is... It sounded like he wanted to do... Um, God isn't trying to convince you argument. I hope he talks about doubting Thomas. God isn't yeah. trying to convince you. Like, what does that, yeah. what does that even mean? I don't know. What is that? Hey, well, Matt, I wanted I to know. tell you that God isn't trying to convince you. And then Matt says, well, okay, so, <laughs> okay. Then what? I want to say 10 minutes. I'm going to call it 10 minutes or less. See, the only way this is that could work is if Matt kind of like says, okay, this is like, this is trash. This topic is trash. However, I'm going to make this into something, right? That's, that is the mentality that would, it would take to get that call actually turning into something. I don't know. I'm going to say six minutes. Matt, I don't I mean, think Mike's so. Mike's going to. Yeah, Mike's maybe Mike will massage me. it. Maybe Mike can yeah. kind of mold it. Yeah. Vouch for him, right? He wants to make it good. He knows everyone Clubhouse is watching. He'll he'll string it out at least ten minutes. That's my bet. I agree. J. Mike establishes the topic, doesn't let John talk about what he wants to talk about, mm -hmm. and it lasts fifteen minutes. Did okay, we've got fifteen minutes. Message to J. 15. Mike to bring up the glowing Bible on his own. <laughs> Ambush him. J. Mike's talked to John a lot. There's a lot of places he could go, right? It's going to be better this week. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Man, God, oh, I was... misunderstood. Yeah. Are we going to be able to hear it in here, or should we listen to it somewhere else? I think we have to go to YouTube. Okay. Right? You can't stream it. They're going to talk about bullshit for, like, the first five minutes before they take any callers, like... The atheist oh, community events. The eight stupid right. atheist community events. I can't believe people wear it. watch this shit. It's unbearable. Why would you pay him five hundred dollars? Um. Well, I think it would get me a lot of new viewers for my YouTube for one, and I really think I could if we had a moderated discussion where my fucking hands weren't tied behind my back with him muting me, hanging up on me, and like talking over me. Then I really think I could uh, humiliate him. Yeah, but five hundred dollars is so much money. I have a trust fund. Oh, Jack, uh, you can't, you can't be uh, like uh, playing music in the background because um, it'll like trigger the video getting taken down or whatever, right? So. Well, it's also because I doubt he'll agree to do it. So I think it kind of looks cowardly if he doesn't, because he doesn't even have to leave his fucking house for it. One hour for five hundred dollars. Like, why not do it? Is that his fee? His standard fee? He, uh, I'm not sure, but I can't was. imagine it being more than that, right? Yeah. Godless, I'll debate you as Matt Dillahunty for $500, and you could just say it was him. <laughs> just say I'm not convinced. There you go. Wow. Um, <clears throat> I'm, like, losing my voice because I was, like, spending so much effort trying to manipulate John Lee into calling the atheist experience. Um, and I know the first like I, two hours of this was you doing hilarious voices. And uh, to be honest, I think I actually would have failed. And I think Godless Girl is actually the one who convinced them. So, uh, well, just, we got Whoever lucky. Whoever mentioned the doubting thing really got piqued his interest. I think that helped. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember who that was. I mean, look, I just want to see... First of all, John doesn't, like, give arguments for God, so I just want to see... I'm just hoping that they press him. 
and then just see what happens. I mean, it's, it's going to be hilarious. Well, and J also, Mike's J there, Mike right? Knows, J Mike knows. Yeah, J Mike is there, and J Mike knows John. So there's also a chance that he might bring up John's bullshit, right? He might. He's also in a position where he can call John on some of those bullshit. And even if John does have some bullshit topic, J Mike just be like, hey, yeah, let's talk about the angels. I don't know. Who, who knows what he's going to do, right? I'm excited. We did it, YouTube. I think it was the energy boost. I actually heard him kind of perk up and get all excited. YouTube uh, spirit some... bomb. Yeah, definitely. Well, he's he is on the phone. I can see it, right? He's got the icon where he's on the phone, so. Uh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Amazing. He said in chat that he's in the queue. No, in the no one. Chat. All right, let's don't don't hype him this time. I think that messed it up a bit. You know, there were a lot of people saying he was uh, the greatest theist debater, you know, <laughs> better than any other one. So I think that messed it up. So don't don't do that. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Okay. Now we play the waiting game. James, I had, I invited you up. Oh, uh, let's. Anybody else have any uh, predictions? It's always fun to make predictions. See what happens. Um, also, uh, I guess another prediction I would make is that I think once again, he will be accused of not answering questions. I think that's probably a guarantee. Um, probably I'd stick with uh, six minutes maximum for the interaction. Uh, what else? Tom, I, I think he's going to do a, one of the Johnisms, like when he says, yeah before he does something and yeah. it's going to start a huge fucking issue. Might work right. like that, I'm guessing. So we got two minutes all the way up to, I think 15. Um, so a good spread. I think that he's going to stutter a little bit at least, and he's going to sound like rather meek. Yeah, before I went live, yeah. oh my god, you should have heard how he was, he was <laughs> completely talking with his chest. So once he once he got wind that the, the YouTube stream was going, he completely changed his entire tone. Yeah, it was great. Uh, let's see, is Matt Adams in the... Matt Adams, raise your hand. I want to hear your prediction. He's When it goes south, he's going to start trolling. He's going to suicide. By trolling. That's my prediction. Facebook memes. Okay, Matt Adams, what's your predictions for uh, John's call? What are your predictions? Tell us. By the what's way, Matt the... Adams is a veteran caller to the Atheist Experience. Uh, he's a troll, and um, he's gotten hung up on by Matt Dillahunty many times, right, John? Matt, at least two? One I'm time a, they had a 15 minute conversation, and he, he didn't get hung up on all that. Three yeah, because your because your dumbass was going on there, it's like saying slavery was all like cool and everything, right? And pissed Matt off. Uh, so, anyways, what's your predictions for this call? What is his topic? What what did he say he was going to talk about? I don't know. Some bullshit. For personally, actually, I wasn't even really paying attention. I mean, it's just I don't even know. It's not even really relevant. It's it's garbage. Um, it's trash. Well, it could be relevant depending, but I'm guessing. If J Mike J Mike knows ahead of time, right? Yeah, he's already been he was informed. he was told two weeks ago, and I messaged him today too. Yeah, he knows. He's not okay. So surprised. my my prediction will be he it will go. It was three minutes last time, right? Three minutes Total. fifteen seconds. It's going to be nine minutes twenty. Nine seconds. minutes. Wow. Okay. Okay. No, I got a good. I got a good thing wow. to think about. I got a good prediction that we can think about. So 
Considering that J. Mike is on the on the, on the line, and J. Mike is probably he knows what happened. J. Mike has said you can talk to me, right? How long before J. Mike like how long is John going to be talking to J. Mike before John says something that Matt is just considers beyond the pale and just has to grab the microphone and like take control of the call? I'm gonna say like two minutes. I was going to say two and a half minutes. He's just not going to last very long with that. I'll give him five minutes. Eight eight minutes. Eight minutes. And when Matt does take over, he's going to hang up within one minute. I think Matt's going to step in about two times, and then the third time, that's going to be it. Uh, He's going to hang up. No, I think Matt's going to take over and say... Goodbye, John Lee. Because Matt doesn't want to even, like, Matt can't talk to him. You know, he, he, yeah. he just can't stand it. But this one's more exciting because we have J. Mike, who is familiar with John. So that'll uh, hopefully keep it going longer. It might get more interesting. Yeah, that's what I think. That's why I think I'm going longer than I did last time. Now, if John brings up Godless Girl in the $500 challenge or whatever it was, that might get him kicked off a little bit quicker. He will yeah, bring it up. Um, My prediction. Yeah. Oh, you guys don't think he'll bring it up? Look, John Lee's I think he's all gonna about forget. John Lee. I think he's going to forget. He's already, like, really, really nervous about the whole thing, so. I'd be... I'd be... I give it like 20% chance. He doesn't really do things for other people. He's not like uh, Mr. You know, favors, you know? Um, I put yeah, it in the, uh, in the YouTube chat. There's a link to the uh, Atheist Experience right now. It's starting. So you guys can click on that. Like I said, I don't want to mess with their stream. And uh, some people that stream a live stream get like, the video taken down, so we'll just, you just have to watch it on your own. We'll still be able to hear it here like last time, right? No. you got to go to YouTube, Matt. Oh, they're going uh, right into on. it. There's no... They're talking to John right now. Everybody listen.
Is anyone here? Hold on, we're listening to the something. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh my god oh my god was that oh. are you guys happy now as worst that's about, debater that's about what i expected john it's about what i expected he never let me he never let me talk he was like ask me a question cut me off ask me another well, question you never cut answered. me off yeah. what you didn't answer the question he you had the cha chance that's false. Yeah. That's false, dude. You realize, John, you're going to have well, to call well, in another five well, well, times to I, equal one of Matt Adams' calls? Just to be fine. clear. Um, <laughs> what I was trying to tell him, right, was I was trying to tell him about general and special revelation, right? Special revelation is a matter of faith. It's not based upon any evidence. However, general revelation is, and he would not even allow me uh, to even make that distinction. <laughs> You, you were asked, allowed, he asked bro. you for the evidence, and you said, I'm not interested in something. He said, I'm not interested in convincing you or something. And then he hung up on you. I yeah, you that was that was your course. opportunity to give the evidence, John. Why would I give the evidence for God? That's why I told him. The call <laughs> is it's worthless. It's worthless. But you said you were ready to tell him all That's about it. It's about general revelation. Yeah, but but hey, it's he worthless for con me. it's worthless for convincing people, right? That doesn't matter. He just asked you for the evidence. Yeah. Once again, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue for God. Simple as that. You think Matt Delonte, because he demands evidence, that I'm just gonna comply? Certainly not. You're not arguing I'm, for I'm God. There, you're just. You're I'm just there, answering. I'm there, to, I'm there to argue that arguments, evidential arguments, philosophical uh, arguments, any type of uh, reasoned approaches to the existence of God are worthless. That was the topic of my discussion. Worthless with regards and these, to what? And it, and worthless. It, and my point is this. My point is this. If it is the case, that is the purpose of my call. Why even ask me for evidence? Does that make sense? Well, you're, you're. It's worthless with regards to trying to convince. Correct. That's correct. Right. So you you don't think that you're going to convince Matt. Matt doesn't think he's going to be convinced. So if you answer the question, you're just merely supporting your claim that there's evidence for God. What's the problem? No, I'm I'm not even going to go there. It's a waste of my time. Well, what a was waste of your time you with regards to convincing, about? but you're not trying to convince, John. The, top, the topic of discussion, he could have engaged in it that it's worthless to uh, try to convince in the existence of God, or it's not. If he thinks that it's worthwhile then I would debate him to say it's worthless. I was going to get there. He cut me off because he wanted to direct it and give me some evidence for God. That's what he wanted. That's what he was yeah. saying the whole time. Just like T-Jump. But, but, but Matt Dillahunt, he was a little bit more aggressive. And if you don't it. give, and if you give your evidence for God and he doesn't accept it, that would be supporting your position. And, and you're, not some even sense. Getting, you're not even getting it. <laughs> And so I'm not. I'm not even going to debate it. I mean, I already, yeah. So I already Daz said. Daz said that you're allergic. Daz said that you're allergic to any kind of burden of proof, right? You don't want to support anything. You just want to make these. I fucking do have claims. a burden of proof. The burden of proof is such that I have a burden to demonstrate that it is worthless to make arguments for the existence of God. That is the burden. I it's have worthless to accepting. convince people, and well, then it, how are you going to support it, that? That that well. I was hoping to get there, Tom. That was the purpose of my call. I went there both times, Tom. With the, Jack, you're with, not my game. With, I went to, I went there both times with uh, an onus per bandy to demonstrate my two claims. Right, uh, both opportunities. Uh, he never gave me an opportunity. He tried to, to shoehorn the conversation into what he wanted to. Are you calling me a liar? Give us the evidence for God. Uh, these are the two different calls. And well, that's fine. Now I, you know, 
it, it really, it's really like, um, not that I had much expectations anyway, right? I mean, if you if you know if you listen very carefully to the call, I don't know if he remembered me from a couple of weeks ago. He's been alerted. Yeah, who knows he did. what? But in any in any case, um, he certainly wasn't going to allow me to say anything. I mean, even he even if you notice this time around, he kept a much tighter lid on the conversation. No, I was actually way off because I thought it would go longer because J Mike was there. Uh, what did you ask it? What did you tell tell them your topic was going to be when you were waiting in the queue? Oh, How yeah. did you word that? My 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 topic, Matt, was that it is worthless. Uh, that, it, that my position is worthless to make arguments for the existence of God. That's that a bad. That. That's just a bad because nobody knows what worthless means, right? Worthless is some kind of like normative term, but nobody knows. Doesn't what it matter. Means. Never, never. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Right of course it fucking right matters. Off bat, right off the bat, right off the bat, he was asking me questions, and sure enough, he he asked us the questions to go to the bottom thing, what you wanted to do. Uh, what is the evidence for God? Did yeah, you but that? like, look, look. There you go, and so 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 he was not going to be deterred in any way, form, or fashion. That was the discussion, or there is no discussion. And clearly, uh, that's what he intended to do. How did so you get in there first? Did, it seemed like he brought you in first just because he didn't think it was going anywhere. Because we're like expediting him. We, yeah, we, like we alerted people. People knew even down to the YouTube chat mods. Well, I do remember. Do you remember, John, when... The same similar situation happened uh, where Johnny Hulse had the conversation with him about it's useless for arguments, and he basic he made that YouTube video responding to that, and basically I think he basically said that not to waste time if that was what you were gonna do. Um, so maybe uh, maybe that was his intention to bring you on and say, look, if if you're just gonna say it's it's worthless, then don't waste my time and then just hung up. So that might have been uh, maybe his sure. reason. The know, word because... worthless is a poor, very, very poor choice of words, right? Because by worthless, you mean just like unconvincing. I think, I think what you're trying to say is that well, people, was... people can't be convinced well, by arguments, right? That's what you should have said, but you've got this like ambiguous language that you're married to that you just, it just gets you in problems from the very get go. Then you like wonder why your fucking calls don't go anywhere, right? You're just you're just yeah, a complete if, fucking joke, John. I'll put it, I'll put it this way: if, if 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 anyone out there who's a skeptic has any pretension that is somehow valuable or worthwhile for a theist to provide them, spend the time to give them evidence for the existence of God. Well, I'm here to tell you otherwise, and 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 you could either listen to what I have to say about it or not. And, and clearly, uh, Matt values, uh, he doesn't want to let go of the idea that it's valuable for him to hear theistic arguments for the existence of God. And he's not going to be deterred from so, that. So like you, wanted to, like a uh -huh. you wanted to call up to the atheist experience and have like some kind of meta discussion about why you're not going to support your claim that Jesus is God. Oh, that's a whole different, you see... He didn't even let me get to the discussion I was trying to call for. He simply, for whatever reason, right off the bat, if you notice carefully, he was not going to let me veer one inch, and he was going to uh, direct the conversation to, okay, give us the evidence for God. Even yeah, though my uh, call was... Even yeah, though do, you, do you not know important. like what Matt is like yet, John? I mean, it, uh, you're kinda, you're now, now like basically sure. telling us what we told you like what three weeks ago now. Well, there you go. I mean, what do you mean? Uh, well, there you go. Well, we could have skipped all that bullshit, right? If you would have just listened to us, right? Well, now you want. Now you want to. Now you want to. I'm I'm perfectly happy with those two calls, by the way. Oh, you're perfectly happy with those two calls. Yeah, good. Yeah. He gave you advice for the next call, John, and said, if you don't do this, then don't what want to call. What next the call? Time. I mean, why would... I didn't even want to call today. <laughs> the next he's, call. <laughs> he's like he whining now. In, he said, John Lee calls in every week, and no argument, something to this. 
He goes, if John Lee calls in again, do this, or don't call in at all. So who something said that? Matt that said that? Yeah. Yeah, something to the effect of that. Oh, and he says I call in every week? <laughs> what, a, what a joke. Well, it you've been two weeks in a row. Well, no, 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 there was one week in between. Two out of three weeks, he called it. Yeah, so, John, you, I mean, I... I, you're happy with that, right? So you're just understood yeah. by Matt yeah, I'm as, happy with like that. A, as a joke. Are you happy to the with show. that? Did, are you happy with? The, no, with the I would actually like to actually. I, I wanted to actually oh. like have you and him actually talk, but like I said, and as, as I said three weeks ago, it's not really possible because for you guys to actually talk, you have to answer some questions which you don't do, right? And he even basically said that in the first minute or two. Well, I mean, I mean, the way I look at it is this way. It's like, uh, uh, you know, we see who wears the pants in the show, right? I mean, clearly, yeah, you're going to you talk to me, right? Right? Puffing out his chest. And so uh, clearly what I suspected was that either Matt's going to sit there, which I didn't think that was going to be the case. Remember when I talked about talking about last week's topic or the week before? Uh, whether J. Mike is just going to entertain me on the topic while while Matt Dillhunty just sits there listening. I told you that I highly doubt that's going to be the case. I don't even think he's going to interrupt. He's just going to put a stop to it, right? And uh, something like this, that was uh, certainly not surprising. Yeah, I think you should have talked about the glowing Bible. And and, and so John, I'm do you want to hear not, what Matt said about you? I'm actually not you? disappointed. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I'm not interested in someone being a theist. What I was trying to okay, tell goodbye. you... John keeps calling in every week and is just absolutely an epic failure on a regular basis. Today, John said that arguments are worthless, that it's a faith-based proposition that doesn't require evidence. And then when challenged, John thinks there is evidence and that the evidence is sufficient to warrant belief. And if that's the case, if there is evidence that is sufficient to warrant a belief, then faith has no purpose or use here. There's no reason or justification... Uh, to believe something based on faith, why would you do that if you have evidence? And John's not interested in justifying theists, so stop calling me, John. On that note, well, that's a nice misrepresentation. He never let me get to uh, my point. My point was that there is evidence for general revelation uh, to believe that a God exists, but to believe that a God exists is really uh, uh, inconsequential. It is completely worthless uh, in the sense of... Uh, salvation so what is worthwhile is faith in god that saves that provides us eternal life and that is not evidence-based and it is uh, a situation where it is a gift of god yeah but you're just like he wouldn't even give me a few but he wouldn't even give me a few seconds to explain but that. that's because so now, of your dumbass john wrong. look for example i can no, tell you how no, to answer that question not, right no, he never allowed me, and, and, and when I told no, him No, it's because you don't me, answer questions. You. Look, when he says, okay, so it may not, it, it, it may not be convincing or whatever. That's, that's neither here nor there. But then his, his question was, so you agree that there is evidence for God. What is the evidence for God? And then you should have answered something like, the evidence for God is general revelation. However, I don't think it's going to convince anyone. That's what you should have said, but you can't do that because you're a slimy slug. Why did I say it wouldn't convince anyone? That's not my position, Tom. I think I think you can convince somebody of theism, but but what's the not with arguments? Convincing someone? Yes, with arguments. What are you even talking about? Uh, apparently, I've been sitting here all these months, and you don't even know my position. You've That's said pathetic. multiple times that no one's ever been convinced of an argument by an argument. That's what you said. No, what, what? I said was that. Let me let me finish. Oh my God! Somebody better I, speak up right now. May, There's may no I way finish. that I'm wrong about this. May no, this I is this, this is complete. One of the first times I met finish. John Lee, I said the same thing, and he's like, you "Wow, you disagree with me." Five people. Okay, listen. What I am saying is that I don't know of a single person who believes in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior through any philosophical, ontological, teleological, cosmological argument for God. That's what I said. Nobody, not a single person, right? And and faith is a gift of God, right? Not not some general theism. You can 
uh, be convinced of general theism uh, through uh, uh, arguments, philosophical arguments, right? My point is, what value is there in uh, having an atheist become a theist if they're just going to go to hell as a theist? It's, it's not like it's not like you're saved once you become That's... a theist. Of course not. But the saving faith is not uh, derived by any evidential or any philosophical argument. That's what I was trying to explain, but whatever. Yeah, you're just a very poor communicator. Unbelievable. He never even gave me the opportunity. What do you even... He had, he had the situation um, butthurt from, from second one, and he was going to abuse his mod. And do what he did. He already determined to do what he did. What are you talking? Look, about? if you just have the, if you have the goal of not that not happening, you just have to add, answer direct questions, and you can't dilly dally dally around and be the your usual. Yeah, John fucking no, lead. I don't. I I don't really. I'm not. Listen, I'm not here. I'm I'm already perfectly happy. He could either ha he could either have the conversation or he could be afraid of it. That's that's fine with me. Oh my! Oh if my you, God! If he's so afraid to try to dictate the conversation into, uh, let me just sit here while you give me evidence for God, and you and please work hard to try to convince me. No, you, you look for other, some other monkey. You got That's the wrong the whole guy. That's the show. That's the whole show. Discord and John Lee is a, John Lee is a worm on a hook. Huh. Matt, John, I'll call in next time Matt's on. I can't do it today because I have something I have to do. But uh, next time he's on, I'll call and I'll give him whatever argument you tell me to give. No, I don't. I, I don't want to like. I don't want to like. This type of activity is going to be seen as like, you know, uh, oh yeah, tricksters point, online right. wanting to like fuck with the show, and that's not anything that I'm trying to do, right? I just wanted John Lee, who was a genuine Christian, calling into the show, and he did that, right? So I don't want any kind of like pose or like you know. I don't want to. I don't want any of that. I don't want to be John, accused of like orchestrating any of that type of stuff. So are you happy, Tom? Now, now you have me as like a. Now Matt has me as some sort of a, a like a one who pesters him, right? Uh, that's you know whatever. I uh, I wondered, John Lee, would you debate Matt Dillahunty if he would agree to it? Of course not. Um. Yeah. It depends on what I guess. The but existence yeah, I mean, of God. There's, there's, oh, come on, of course not. But I mean, the, there's certain subjects I wouldn't mind. The, I don't care if they're PhDs or whatever. There's certain topics that um, I wouldn't have an issue at all debating any atheist on. Just debate them on the. Trump there's Trump evidence Trump. for God. Actually, that would probably be a really, really easy debate for you because. Matt was probably going to take some kind of like position on evidence where there's like no evidence of God. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know why that. you guys are so fixated on that all the time. I mean, just like if you let's put it this way, right? If you know that's a show, and you know that's not what I'm about, and I'm not going to talk about it, well, then why try to make a marriage of something you guys are going to know more than me, right? So, so it would be foolish on your part to try to make a call happen where you know I'm not going to talk about the evidence or existence of God. Did you think that suddenly I would just go, okay, Matt, l let me give you my lineup. Let me give you my best shot. You think that's going to happen? If you think it's going to happen, you're naive. Well, he got foolish. you to say that there's evidence for God. Because there is. Yeah, Everything's so give it to him. God. Give it to him, motherfucker. What are you afraid of? You're not of? getting it. You're not getting it. You're missing the whole point. It's not going to happen. <laughs> the whole point is just for you to have man. an escape hatch. Yeah, you just wanted an escape hatch so that you could blow up the conversation and get booted, John. You did that on purpose. Okay. That's a cool, cool story, bro. You're terrified of just being blown off and just being hand-waved. Of your evidence being like just equal to another angel story, another glowing Bible story. You know how you're going to come across and you're mortified of that and you want to avoid that at right. all costs. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, make, whatever floats your boat, Tom.
No, it's not whatever floats my boat. Otherwise, you would just fucking say it and you'd be proud of it. But you're not proud of your your own beliefs and your own experiences and your I, own evidence. I don't know what I don't know what you expected, but I did my part. Yeah. As as and I did it uh, a bit reluctantly, and uh, it was such the case that uh, I was doing you a favor, whether you understand it or not. So I mean, no, you could either no be, one thinks you're doing me. Yeah, any you favors, could actually man. be better about it, or I mean, you might even be grateful about it. But I mean, Aki, far be it from you to be, be grateful. Yeah. At least Matt Adams actually had the balls to actually like fucking like try and back something up. Not you. What are you doing oh, on here then, prepared. man? I was fully prepared to back up both of my claims. That's for sure. No, you weren't. You knew when you said that I'm not here to convince atheists that he was going to kick you, John. Oh, I actually didn't, to be honest. <laughs> He's going to back up his claim. <laughs> That no arguments are required. <laughs> no, that's not my claim, by the way. Unreal. He's going to back up his claim that there's no point in backing up his claim. <laughs> He's, he was fully prepared to back up that, that claim. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay well um i'm i'm exhausted um so i mean uh the way i figure he's officially running so that's fine oh uh, that's your takeaway <laughs> that's your takeaway is that it matt is, is officially is. running <laughs> yeah, that is my takeaway Oh my god, John. Unbelievable. Look, um That's just bad. I had he to, wants I'm gonna... to pretend that I he wants to pretend that I'm like so desperately trying to to call him and, and uh he's like being playing hard to get or something or just uh I'm not worth his time. I'm trying like I'm trying to woo him or something. It's ridiculous. Look at what he takes offense to, is like some like peripheral perception of his like you know self-image that he objects to and that's that's what he's got an issue with unbelievable um i am going to end the stream thank you everyone for uh coming this was fun um I'm glad uh we made it happen and oh it's brojo hold on a second what's up brojo what do you gotta say I just wanted to say that, um, you know, John, yeah, it's, you did a great job, and, um, you know, it's uh, well done. So, do you consider yourself a failure today, Tom? Bro, Joe, Bro, Joe uh, I thought Darth said not to talk to us. Bro, Joe, what do you want to say, man? Hurry up. I just didn't know what the, 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 the topic in the room was. What were you guys talking about? Well, um, you know, John called to the uh, the um, atheist experience a little while ago, and uh, we were uh, just uh, talking about it. Okay. Yeah. Why are you talking like that? Is oh, that sorry. Like your African American impression is that how you mimic black people? No, that was my brojo impression. Oh, okay. Well, I don't talk like that, so maybe do a better job next time. Because that was just sorry. Respectful. Sorry, man. Take it yeah. back. You didn't hear the call, bro, Joe? No, I didn't. I didn't, No, I don't obsess over these conversations. I, I'm amazed that you guys are watching the atheist experience. It sounds like butthurt people crying about their hatred for God. So no, I don't watch that show. Well, the only reason we watched it is because John Lee called in. Yeah, but I didn't ask what your reason was. I'm just saying I don't watch it. I'm not a butthurt loser. John, how'd that conversation go? Um, I didn't think I'd have be cut off that short, but I mean, a little disappointed in two times uh, I have a topic that I gave already, and he's not interested in the topic, he's interested in directing the conversation a certain way. Today, he wanted evidence for God for a person who's telling him that it's worthless to provide arguments or evidence for God. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't a productive discussion, you'd say? 
Um, productive is sometimes in the eye of the beholder. I consider it productive, believe it or not. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I gotta I gotta end the stream. Um thank you everyone. Um until next time.